Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 80s songs that got popular again. For this list, we're looking at the exciting tracks from that decade that enjoyed a major resurgence. What other 80s songs deserve to make a comeback? Let us know in the comments. Number 20. Holding Out for a Hero, Bonnie Tyler while the good men and gods may have gone, this song will never leave our collective consciousness. Where have all the good men gone and where are all the gods? Initially recorded by Bonnie Tyler for the Footloose soundtrack, Holding Out for a Hero has received several boosts thanks to its inclusion in various films and shows. The fairy godmother's take on the track in Shrek 2 plays over one of the franchise's most action-packed sequences. Easily the highlight of Jennifer Saunders' iconic voice performance. Years later, the song received a much more adult treatment in season two of Euphoria, when theater kid Lexi used it to poke fun at toxic bad boy Nate Jacobs. Regardless of the context, holding out for a hero remains larger than life. I'm holding out for a hero till the end of the night. Number 19, Time After Time, Cindy Lauper. If we had a photo album of 80s memories, this would be the picture that absolutely refuses to fade. Time After Time has taken on a life of its own as the essential slow dance scene soundtrack across media. It really got a boost after it appeared in 1997's Romeo and Michelle's High School Reunion. From there, the song endured through the 2000s and 2010s with similarly heartwarming moments in Napoleon Dynamite and Stranger Things. Its tender lyrics focus on a drum beating out of time. The imagery of the song helped it become an anthem for outcasts looking to find support and community among each other. As the second hand unwinds, time after time continues to unite the wallflowers and misfits. If you fall, I will get you Number 18, Don't You Forget About Me, Simple Minds. Thanks to its association with The Breakfast Club, Simple Minds Don't You Forget About Me will forever be remembered as one of the most beloved hits of the 80s. Tell me your troubles and doubts. That said, it also had a moment in the early 2010s thanks to being embraced by Easy A. But the song's dominance didn't stop there. Nickelodeon's Victorious, Pitch Perfect, and even Glee all had their own renditions of the feel good song. Come on, come on, call my name. This anthem was a way for younger kids to urge their peers to cherish the fun times before going their separate ways. Previously the theme song of Gen X nostalgia, Millennials and Gen Zs can also relate to the song's coming-of-age message. Don't you forget about me. Number 17, True, Spandau Ballet. They've bought a ticket to the world, but now they've come back again. So true, funny how it seems. Spandau Ballet's moody ballad True has seen a new wave in more ways than one. Besides belonging to the genre, it made a comeback nearly a decade later after being sampled in hip-hop group PM Dawn's Set Adrift on Memory Bliss. Maintaining the song's riff and expanding even further on the unique atmosphere, it's the rare remake that's just as good as the original. True is most often tied to the 80s movie Sixteen Candles. However, it also made for a good gag on Modern Family when Edward Norton appeared as a fictitious member of Spandau Ballet. Number 16, I Wanna Dance With Somebody Who Loves Me, Whitney Houston. When the night falls, our nostalgia calls. Whitney Houston's I Wanna Dance With Somebody is the go-to 80s song for happy on-screen and real-life occasions. Clock strikes upon the hour and the sun begins to fade. Still a floor filler decades later, it's a staple at weddings and dances as well in rom-coms. Jenna's getting ready scene in 13 Going on 30 is easily one of the film's most beloved moments because of this banger of a song choice. Oh, I 
And of course, The Voice's 2022 biopic named after the song once again renewed its popularity. One scene shows Houston enthusiastically listening to a demo before deciding she has to have it for herself. And as they say, the rest was history. With somebody who Number 15, Sweet Child of Mine, Guns N' Roses. For all we know, the child in the title might have kids of their own by now. Guns N' Roses' biggest smash first saw a resurgence when Sheryl Crow covered Sweet Child of Mine in 1999. In the years since, the original has been featured in movies like 2008's Step Brothers, where Adam Scott's character showed us the fun and dangers of carpool karaoke. The song also featured prominently in 2022's Thor Love and Thunder. Thanks to its inclusion in the film, we had proof that the Guardians don't have an MCU monopoly on rock throwbacks. With lyrics of rose-colored childhood memories, it's no wonder Sweet Child of Mine continues to resonate. Number 14, Shout, Tears for Fears. Originally written as a protest song encouraging listeners to use their voices, Shout was repurposed for Shout for England for the 2010 FIFA World Cup. Dizzy Rascal and a pre-late show James Corden combined their talents for some team spirit. While England sadly underperformed, the pair's efforts did not. The remade Shout debuted at number one on the UK singles chart, introducing the song to a new generation with a new meaning. Meanwhile, the original has been used for dramatic and comedic effect alike, from Netflix's Dark to Everybody Hates Chris. Did you really expect it to go out with a whimper? Number 13, Eye of the Tiger, Survivor. Since its introduction in the 1980s as the Rocky III theme song, Survivor's Eye of the Tiger has gotten the crowd hyped at many a sporting event, boxing or otherwise. Rising up. The song's competitive spirit has appeared in live-action movies and animated fare alike. However, not every use has been welcomed by the band. It's the the fight. Political figures like Mitt Romney and Newt Gingrich infamously faced legal action for using the song during their campaigns. Fortunately, incidents like that didn't stop Eye of the Tiger from getting in movies and shows. Of the tiger. Case in point, Peter Griffin gives a surprisingly strong rendition of the song as he encourages Lois in the ring. Number 12, Livin' on a Prayer, Bon Jovi. Everyone loves some 80s cheese, and Livin' on a Prayer is a giant wheel of it. Bon Jovi's 1986 signature anthem about a struggling working-class couple continues to be referenced in pop culture today, with even their own songs calling back to it. The arena rockers mentioned Tommy and Gina in their 2000 hit It's My Life, dedicating the song to them for never backing down. It's my life, it's now or never. In 2013, Living on a Prayer made a comeback to the charts after a 2009 video of a Boston Celtics fan dancing his heart out in the bleachers went viral. The song also appears in season three of Supergirl when villainous Rain breaks into prison. I've only come to cleanse the sin of this world. Didn't feel like starting with yourself then? I'm not of this world. Number 11, Sweet Dreams Are Made Of This, Eurythmics. Who are we to disagree? Despite its title, Sweet Dreams sounds more like a nightmare. Sweet The 1983 hit's ominous vibe has made it a favorite for modern movie trailers, from A Wrinkle in Time to House of Gucci. It's also been covered numerous times, most notably by Marilyn Manson in 1995. His industrial rock rendition ramped the creepy factor up to 11, with Billboard calling its music video one of the scariest of all time. 
Actress Emily Browning also covered Sweet Dreams for the 2011 film Sucker Punch, and Britney Spears sampled it in Everybody from her 2007 album Blackout. Sweet Dreams was inducted into the Grammy Hall of Fame in 2020, solidifying its status as a timeless 80s gem. Number 10. The Safety Dance – Men Without Hats How did a quirky new wave song about pogo dancing become so popular? Well, after the death of disco in the early 80s, pogoing was the new style of dance. Consisting of jumping up and down in place, Men Without Hats lead singer Ivan Dorshuk was kicked out of a club for trying the trend, and wrote the safety dance in protest. We can dance, we can dance, everybody look at your hands. The song later appeared on South Park in 2015, and Alaska Airlines filmed a parody video in 2020 to promote their COVID-19 safety precautions. But if your friends don't mask, and why don't they mask? Well, they won't fly this airline. With lyrics about hand washing and mask wearing, the company chose the perfect song to get the message across. Number 9. Tainted Love – Soft Cell With a beat this infectious, it's easy to see why Tainted Love continues to bewitch well into the 21st century. Its opening synth instantly transports the listener to a seedy underground club from the future, making its inclusion in Doctor Who a no-brainer. In the second episode of the 2005 revival series, Christopher Eccleston's Ninth Doctor can be seen dancing to it at Lady Cassandra's End of the World party. But refreshments will now be served. Earth death in 30 minutes. A year later, Rihanna sampled the song in her hit S.O.S., referencing other 80s throwbacks by AHA, Michael Jackson, and Tears for Fears in her lyrics. Contrary to popular belief, Tainted Love precedes the 2000s and the 80s. Before Soft Cell covered it, it was actually a 60s soul song by Gloria Jones. Number 8. Everybody Wants to Rule the World – Tears for Fears Nothing ever lasts forever, except this song's legacy. one of the deepest chart toppers ever recorded, Everybody Wants to Rule the World's existentialist lyrics grow more relevant with every passing year. Having Lord cover it can't hurt either. While Tears for Fears' original version contrasts its heavy lyrics with upbeat production, Lord's 2013 cover for the Hunger Games Catching Fire soundtrack goes full dystopian in true capital fashion. With its profound lines about greed, corruption, and human nature in the Cold War era, Everybody Wants to Rule the World continues to resonate with listeners around the world, no matter the decade. Number 7. Don't Stop Believin' – Journey Journey's Don't Stop Believin' just seems to get bigger with each passing year. Just a small town girl living in a lonely world became particularly synonymous with 80s nostalgia in the late 2000s. Back then, it was used prominently in not one, but two huge and wildly different TV series. It first closed out the bittersweet series finale of The Sopranos in 2007. It then got a wholesome rendition from New Directions in the pilot episode of Glee. Seasons later, it stands as one of the show's most beloved covers, resonating with listeners from all walks of life whether they assign it to endings or beginnings. Millions are still holding on to that feeling. Don't stop Number 6. Take On Me – Aha Synthpop is one of the 1980s most beloved genres, and Take On Me is arguably its crowning achievement. Sonic Sugar Rush from beginning to end, it gave Norwegian trio AHA their first and only number one hit on the Billboard Hot 100, as well as one of the most iconic music videos of the MTV era. Flash forward to 2013, when it was sampled by the most unlikely artist possible, Pitbull. His duet with Christina Aguilera, Feel This Moment, transformed the iconic keyboard melody into a party song. When 
the rapper-singer duo performed at the 2013 Billboard Music Awards. They invited original AHA singer Morton Harkett on stage to celebrate the song's renewed success. Number 5. Careless Whisper, George Michael Whether or not you lived through the 80s, you're almost certainly familiar with the steamy saxophone riff. George Michael's Careless Whisper hits perfectly when you're seeking out a serious, soulful breakup jam. But its flair for the dramatic is undeniably funny out of context. I'm never gonna dance again. The song was used in memes galore throughout the 2010s, and even received a major movie moment thanks to its inclusion in Deadpool. In the film's final minute, Wade pulls out his phone to play Careless Whisper during his big kiss scene with Vanessa, leading into the end credits where an animated Deadpool plays the saxophone. Till next time, this is your friendly neighborhood pool guy singing, I'm never gonna dance again the way I dance with you. Oh. Number 4. Africa, Toto. The arrival of Stranger Things in 2016 introduced Generation Z to dozens of 80s classics, but none has received a boost quite like Toto's soft rock masterpiece. In the show's series premiere, Africa blasts over Nancy and Steve's makeout session. The song proved extremely popular among young fans of the show, and Weezer took note of its renewed popularity. The band's 2018 rendition became their first number one hit on Billboard's alternative chart in a decade. And they weren't the only ones to jump on the Africa bandwagon. Later that year, Pitbull sampled it in Ocean to Ocean, which played in the DC film Aquaman to unintentionally hilarious effect. I've been overlooked, slept on, stepped on, left for dead, always against all eyes like Poxy. I'm the living great Gatsby. Number 3. Total Eclipse of the Heart, Bonnie Tyler. The 1980s were full of bombastic power ballads, but none are as beloved and ridiculed as Total Eclipse of the Heart. Turn around. Every now and then I get a little bit tired of listening to the sound of my tears. Thanks to its massive chorus and melodramatic lyrics, a 2013 survey saw it voted the most popular song to sing in the shower, over more recent hits by Justin Bieber and One Direction. Much like Mariah Carey around the holidays, it also gets a bump whenever there's a real-life solar or lunar eclipse. Nothing I can say, a total eclipse of the heart. During the solar eclipse of August 2017, Bonnie Tyler performed the song on a Royal Caribbean cruise ship with Joe Jonas's band DNCE backing her. Once upon a time there was light in my life, now there's only love in the dark. Despite its story of falling apart, new listeners are still falling in love with Total Eclipse of the Heart. Number 2. Running Up That Hill, A Deal With God, Kate Bush Forget roads, hills, and buildings, this 80s anthem ran up the charts a whopping three times. It doesn't hurt me. Kate Bush's Running Up That Hill, A Deal With God made a minor comeback when a remix of the song was included in the 2012 Summer Olympics closing ceremony. But it wouldn't make waves across the pond until a decade later when it arrived in season four of Stranger Things. Heavily tied into Max's storyline throughout the season, Bush gave the show's producers her personal blessing to use the passionate track. It certainly paid off. The track became a worldwide hit that introduced her catalog to Gen Z listeners via Netflix, TikTok, and elsewhere. These days, we're betting she wouldn't swap places with anyone. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Never Gonna Give You Up, Rick Astley Just as its lyrics promised, this 80s smash hit is never gonna say goodbye. I just wanna tell you how I'm feeling. Gotta make you understand. Three 
decades after its release, Never Gonna Give You Up resurfaced in 2007 when 4chan users posted disguised links to the music video at unexpected moments. The now common practice known as Rick Rolling revived singer Rick Astley's career and became one of the biggest memes in internet history. Astley, who originally called the meme weird, eventually embraced the song's second life and gave a surprise performance at the 2008 Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. As of 2022, the Never Gonna Give You Up music video has over 1 billion views, and the song has cemented its place in past and present pop culture. Never a ticket to the world, but now I've come back again. I'm sorry. Never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down. 